Cameron, this is so great. I'm so glad you opened this door because it works both ways, right? So what's interesting to me about the state of the internet is that you have businessmen trying to cash in on art and artists trying to create businesses. And to be honest, for the majority, neither party does it very well right and, and I'm trying to think through this and, and slow down so that I could get, give the most kind of conversation adding to you and value to anyone who jumps into this but the thing is like a lot of artists will just give away their stuff for free all the time and I'm so guilty of that right I, I have I have to leap big hurdles just to charge five dollars for a book right like in my mind that feels like a huge thing but artists the challenge for artists is crossing that road and figuring out how to make a business right and to do like you said to ride the cash cow right like if something is working I don't think that we artists should be ashamed to continue to gather income from that and continue to build on that business or that idea or whatever and on the flip side right are the businessmen who are trying to create art and who are milking unuseful uh, uh, played out overseen like the same old principle like how to build a course right how many times do we see email lists how to build an email list how to get viral like there are so many things that people are are using and milking cash out of stuff that they find for free and to be honest I find that a little bit despicable it may just be the artist in me but I, I think it's a balance you have to learn to charge for what you have and you also have to have the discipline to say okay is this really valuable or am I just trying to grab cash because grabbing cash in my experience has never worked out well so thanks for giving me the chance to expand on this I hope other people think that it's uh, useful and I think they will